Welcome to Spotlight on Clayton. I'm your host, Clayton Mayor Jody McLeod. This month's episode is dedicated to the superior health care that you can receive right here in Clayton, North Carolina at Johnston Health. So welcome. Today I'm joined with Chuck Elliott of Johnston Health. He's the Chief Executive Officer. Uh, at Johnson Health here in Clayton. Welcome to Spotlight on Clayton. Thank you, Jody. We're Appreciate happy to being. have you with us today. Great to be here. Thank you. We're Thank so you. honored to be in this new facility of Johnson Health located right here in Clayton. What do you think about all this? Oh, we're very excited about this opportunity. We've been wanting to provide better access to care in Clayton for, for several years, and now that dream is becoming a reality. We're really pleased about that. Well, your facility is fantastic. And um, I know that you're going to expand different types of services here that are going to be available to folks now. Yes, we're going to have a full service hospital here. Uh, of course, you know we've had an emergency department here and imaging and laboratory and pharmacy for about five years. And so now we are expanding our emergency room. We're adding nine more rooms to the emergency facility. Uh, and then, of course, we're adding the beds. And the, uh, we'll have uh, 36 uh, med surge beds. And then we have four labor and delivery rooms, uh, LDRPs, where the mother can stay post-delivery. And then we also have uh, some progressive care unit beds and some beds that are for high intensity patients. I think one of the things that um, Clayton is so pleased about with having this hospital located here is our common goal of quality of life for folks. And we certainly want that for our citizens, and of course, healthcare definitely wants that for all folks. Yes, we really see that as a major part of the quality of life and how people can stay healthy. Mm -hmm. And being staying healthy means having better access to care and being able to take care of our community. As you know, our mission is to improve the healthcare of people in our community. And Clayton is certainly a major part of our community. We wanted to be here for you. Yeah, and you guys are a major part of who we are, too. Um, tell us a little bit about the story on how we got to where we are today. Wow, uh, that started several years ago. Uh, probably, I'd say, as, I wasn't even here at that point. I've been with the organization now for about five years. So prior to my coming, the plans were in place to build a facility in Clayton. Uh, we started with the ambulatory uh, facility and uh, opened that up, and that was a great way to get on the ground, see the operation, see how well it would be received, and. Quite honestly, we were very well received, and, and so uh, as the economy approved, improved, then that also allowed us the opportunity to, to add these beds. Now, we are actually moving these beds from Smithfield. Uh, we're licensed for 199 beds uh, for, the, for the organization, and um, the, so we are moving 50 beds from Smithfield to Clayton, uh, which uh, is not, people might go, oh, are you downsizing in Smithfield? No, we're not. Uh, the 27 of those beds were never opened at all. We were licensed for them, but they weren't opened. And uh, the other beds, the 23 beds, we know uh, when we move them up here that we'll be able to backfill those, those patients or those areas with observation patients. So we, we are not downsizing at all in Smithfield. You're so, just doing some so reallocation. We're, yeah. we're really growing and, 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 and adding to the workforce and, and very happy about that too. So That's great. So as the CEO, what is really the one thing that you're most proud of? Because you got a lot to be proud of. You well, know. I will tell you, you know, the building is beautiful, but what really makes me excited every day is with the, the people that I get to work with and the caliber of the staff that we have and the care and compassion that they show, the medical staff, the nurses, the technicians. The, the, that's really what, what turns me on every day. That's fantastic. Yeah. And we're going to meet some of those folks during this episode as well. Great. So I noticed there's a new sign going on out front on 42 and it says UNC. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes, as you know, uh, about a year ago, we formed a partnership, uh, or a joint venture actually, with UNC Healthcare, and they became part owners of Johnston Health. That has been a great benefit to us as an organization. Uh, they've been able to bring us some, some additional specialists on an interim basis and part-time basis. Uh, they're helping us become more efficient, and uh, they've been very important in providing this facility because, quite honestly, they're, they're investment in our organization helped us to pay for this building. Mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, we are in debt, we are, this building has gone up debt free. 
uh, as Amazing. a result of this their partnership. So we're very excited about that. And so a lot of benefits come with that. Oh, it, it has been a very good thing for uh, Johnston County and our organization. That is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So fortunate and right here in our own backyard. So another special feature in Johnston Health in Clayton is their new food service area. And uh, we got a, got a special tour uh, in store for you right now. And I'm gonna turn it over to our tour guide okay. and uh, let you tell us a little bit about what's going on in the kitchen. Okay. Um, well, to start off, we're entering the kitchen. So this is gonna be our wonderful cafeteria for our, our customers of patients, um, our, especially our staff that works here at the hospital. Uh, this is something that everybody's been looking forward to a while. Um, it's not just a service for the direct patients and they also the employees, but also the community as a whole. Um, so we've got a lot of features in here. We're going to have our probably most distinguished feature and most sought after feature is our combo gas and wood burning pizza oven. Which um, is amazing and awesome and you know I was told by the CEO that this is like one distinctive factor that in Clayton you're going to find the pizza oven at the hospital and you probably aren't going to find that in Smithfield so what a plus. <laughs> it is. It, you'd be surprised how many times a day I get asked well, when are we going to start serving pizza when are you going to break out some of those great recipes. And of so, course when you add spinach it's healthy. Exactly. As Absolutely. soon as possible. So we'll have some, some signature pizzas as well as some, some standard, you know, pepperoni and beef, but lots of signature homemade pizzas that we'll do fresh here that are just kind of just Clayton and Johnson County favorites. Um, we'll also have made to order sandwiches, burgers, chicken sandwiches, salads, subs, wraps, paninis, a little bit of everything in this area right here for the customers to enjoy. That's fantastic. And you know, not only like you said, for people who are here with family or patients, um, but also for the employees, that's fantastic, you know. Um, over on this side is kind of going to be where we're going to have a lot of information about ways to eat healthy, ways to cook healthy, and ways to, to, to hit that diet, especially with the New Year's coming around and all the resolutions in place. Um, this will be our station for people can actually look at recipes of items we cook here, take those homes. We'll have some services available where it's like ask a dietitian day. So we'll have a dietitian in place where customers can come in and say, I have, this is my goal, tell me how to get there. And we can provide that, that education for them. Um, so right around, falls right in line with that information is our salad bar and our soup station. Great ways for people to eat light and healthy um, throughout the year, even when it's cold. You've got the hot soup and in the summer you've got the fresh crisp salad. Over here we will have a display expo station. So as people come up to order their food, they'll actually have somebody preparing and cooking those items right for them. Whether it's a fettuccine alfredo, where it's a piece of grilled salmon, where it's some sauteed shrimp scampi. All of that will be done right here in the display cooking station. So that'll be something that's very intimate, very interactory, and people can get something fresh every day, not having to worry about something that's been sitting um, throughout, throughout the day. That's fantastic, and it's healthy. Yes. That's great. One thing that is part of the, the norm now in hospitals that most people are transitioning to is a more of a room service model. And that means that the patient will actually have a menu like they're at a restaurant. So when they're admitted, um, they'll receive a menu and kind of with some instructions on how to order. And also when they get to the room, they'll have a refresher from one of our diet staff or the nurse or the dietitian on what to do. So it's you know, common knowledge that people, if they, eat what, if they get to eat what they want and what they like, they're more likely to eat. And if they're in the hospital, yes. you know, they're trying to get that strength back and they want to get those nutritionals they need. So the quicker we can give that to them and, and help to speed that process along for the care, the better off the community will be. That's fantastic. The hospital. Your own menu, that's awesome. So we're still finishing up some last minute adjustments, some finishing touches. So some of the equipment is still being connected. Some last minute things are being tweaked. But uh, you see we've got some very nice state of the art equipment that our staff is gonna have a really fun time using and also something that will be new to them. So not only is it fun, but it's a learning experience. So it's gonna broaden their horizon, the broaden things, to use different tools they may not have seen somewhere else. Um, so most of our action for our patient prep, prep area here, whether it's soups, um, lasagnas, baked chicken, rotisserie chicken, uh, any type of item we're serving to the patients, most of it will be prepared over here. Um, as we walk around this way, it's a little, it's a little loud over here, I apologize. Um, lots of fans going. But this is where the, all the items for the patients will be cooked to order. So if a patient is in their room and they call over to our diet office and they let that patient know what they want, this is where the action will happen. So that ticket will print out just like a restaurant for each individual patient. It's not a, a big spreadsheet where everybody orders at one time. Um, but that ticket will come up as they order, as, as when they want to eat of what they want to get. So if they want a, a grilled chicken sandwich or if they want to reward themselves with a nice juicy hamburger, they had that surgery, the surgery they've been putting off for months and they 
won't feel like they deserve that cheeseburger now and the doctor allows them to have it, of course. <laughs> we'll we'll of put course. that on the grill for them and we'll give them some nice cheddar cheese and we'll whatever fixings they want on that burger. So that'll be something really great. You know, everything is made from scratch. Uh, you know, it's not nothing coming out of a can. Everything is high quality ingredients. I mean, everything is made specifically for that patient at the time they order. You know, I'm just standing here in awe because um, growing up in Clayton when this area was just like a tobacco field and now you ride by and you see a fabulous health care center and, and a hospital here and you meet all the wonderful people that have helped get it to where it's at and the attention to detail is mind-blowing to me and you guys have simply thought of everything when it comes to that nutritional health care for folks and I think it's really awesome because you know back in the day the misnomer was you probably didn't want to eat the food at the hospital and nowadays you guys are completely turning that around to where you may want to actually come out here and have dinner. Well the, the level of care, the, the food in the hospital is just as much as the care is that they receive from the physicians and the nurses. I mean the, the experience they receive from our staff and the experience they receive from the quality of the product we give them plays just as important a role as anything else because if they're not getting the nutritionals they need and it's not for what they want, it's, it's going to make their whole experience bad. And they're, and they're going to be less likely to come back and see, you know, Johnson Health here in Clayton. So, and that's what we want them to do is we want to, if they do have that experience where they're unfortunate enough to have to come to a hospital, that they do choose this as their location. Yeah, and the best experience possible. That's fantastic. All right, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing with us today, right. and thank you for being right. on Spotlight Thank you, Jenny. It's a pleasure. pleasure. So, Kyle, tell me a little bit about the labor and delivery area. Okay. As I said earlier, that we have eight labor and delivery rooms in uh, this area. And one of the things I want to point out before we go any further, our nursery is back here. Um, although we encourage uh, rooming in with babies and moms, uh, we do have a nursery set up, so if the baby needs to be in the nursery, they have a place to go. Also, I want to point out on the doors, we have an infant uh, abduction system set up. So a person cannot leave this unit if they have a baby that has a tag on. The doors will automatically lock down and the alarms will go off. I think there are three exits off of this unit, so each of the doors are upfitted with the alarm system for security and patient safety. Oh, that's fantastic. That makes moms and dads feel okay. much, much better. Okay. I'd like to show you one of the labor and delivery rooms down on the far yeah. end. Let's check that out. So Kyle, this is uh, Johnson Health's uh, labor and delivery room. This is a labor and delivery suite, yes sir. Suite. Yes sir. And the reason I call it a suite is because of the size as well as the amenities that have to go with it. Um, behind each of the cabinets are supports for the patient, whether it's medical air, suction, uh, all of those are back there. Bassinets for the baby. Uh, monitoring system will be over here that's put on. Of course, this is a delivery bed. Um, we have 32 inch TVs. And one of the features that we have added here that we don't have anywhere else is we have a iPod station here so a patient can plug in the music of choice and it'll be coming in over the overhead speakers. Oh, that's great. So, uh, different moms like to listen to different things. Yes. That's There's a couple awesome. of pieces of furniture that are not here yet. We have a, a smaller table so they can sit and eat. But if you've ever been in a hospital room that had a recliner or one of their fold-out beds. Those things just don't sleep don't. good. So we decided <laughs> to go to a different level. And for the significant others that might stay, Overnight, we have a Murphy bed. How perfect is so that? So that uh, will be a little bit more comfortable uh, to the family member that decides that they want to stay the night. Wow, you guys thought of everything. How fantastic is that? Plenty of space, state-of-the-art technology, and comfort for everybody involved in the process. That was our goal. Fantastic. So, Jody, if you'll notice in our three-story atrium, we have some clouds in the ceiling that have wow. little lights in them that change to different colors. So, during the day, they don't normally have them on, but at night, they really stand out and look like stars. Isn't uh, that amazing? A focal point for this beautiful atrium. So when you come to the hospital, be sure to look up because that is absolutely beautiful. And, you know, it's such a wonderful conversation piece too, you know. It's just beautiful geometric shape and then how they have enhanced it with that LED lighting. That is like super cool. 
Wow, great job. This atrium um, courtyard is for patients and staff and family members that can have a place to come when they need to break from the patient room. Mm -hmm. uh, Get some fresh air and some sunshine. Air. Yeah, enclosed so it's protected, not from the elements so much, but it's protected from outside. We don't have to wonder about people drifting off when they shouldn't be. Uh, but it's just a kind of a place of solitude that mm -hmm. they can come and be. Tell us a little bit about your classrooms in there and, and what you see the use is going to be in the future with those classrooms. Well, we have, uh, we didn't have before in the previous part of the building, but we now have a classroom that will sit up to 48 people that will be utilized for in orientation for new employees. It's all also used for the continuing education that we'll always have to do in healthcare with nursing mm -hmm. programs, skilled level programs, uh, meetings for department managers. Uh, we will also offer education classes to the public, maybe the Lamaze classes would be offered in there. Wow. Uh, so it'll be a, a, a use for pretty much everybody that has a reason to be in the hospital. It's really clear there's no wasted space out here. Everything has been planned and detailed and functional and it's going to be every square inch will be utilized. Yeah. We, uh, you know, we added 95,000 square feet to the existing building, which was right at 53,000. Continued on with the same theme as far as the aesthetics of the building. And um, you know, 95,000 square feet, that you know, tripled the size. Wow. So but we did pick up every inch we could to make good use of it. Yeah, and it definitely shows. You know, I think uh, another great service folks are gonna find out here is gonna be um, like your pastoral services. And uh, tell us a little bit about your chapel area. I know it's not quite complete yet, but it is, no. it is definitely in the works. Well, spiritual care is such an important part of the health care program now that we felt that we needed to have a chapel where our spiritual care director could come and have uh, services if needed. Uh, the one that we have in Smithfield, we often have family members that go there just to, to be by themselves so they can think uh, through the situations. Mm -hmm. um, but that chapel serves all denominations and everybody is welcome if they're a patient or a visitor then it's open for them. That is fantastic. What a great service. Yeah. And it looks out onto this courtyard so it even adds more value yes. to um, what we see here. That's fantastic right here at Johnston Health. Now I'm here with two friends, Greg and Debbie, and Greg is the Director of Spiritual Services here at Johnson Health, and uh, welcome. Thank you. To both of you. Thank Good you to be so. with you. We're happy to have you here. Tell us a little bit about the services that you provide and what you do at Johnson Health. Well, spiritual care services, uh, we're all chaplains. We have uh, three on staff. We have myself as director, and we have uh, Debbie Wall, who will be our chaplain here in Clayton. We'll be visiting with patients, uh, inpatients here in the hospital. We also have uh, Chaplain Kiki Barnes, who is our chaplain for hospice. She uh, provides care at hospice house and in patients' homes. And also we have 14 chaplain volunteers who provide on-call coverage. They, they come in during the night and on weekends when the rest of us aren't here, and uh, they're a tremendous uh, blessing to us. Yes, indeed. And Debbie, you're going to be the chaplain out here at Johnson Health in Clayton. Yes, sir. And what are you most looking forward to? Servanthood. Whatever I can do to help the families, friends, and the staff. So we're here for the staff as well. Um, we'll be rounding with patients, and we'll be uh, by their side when they come out of surgery if need to be. We have something called referrals or chip orders that come in to us for uh, admittees who have come in who want to see a chaplain and so I'll go by and see them and spend some time with them and talk with them uh, just basically be there for care support that's what chaplains do yes um, it's so amazing as we have toured Johnston Health today to notice the level of detail in everything and to know to learn today and to share with our audience that there is a whole division of spiritual um, services that goes along with this and you know that means a lot to a lot of folks and it's a great service to be able to provide and to enhance and uh, it's and, and to me it's equally as important as you know the doctor's orders and and everything that you know goes with that mm -hmm. so I think it's uh, it's new and it's exciting 
and we're going to be definitely glad to have you both in Clayton. Thank you. We're looking Thank forward you. to being here. Awesome. So I'm joined here with Casey and Ruth, two employees here at Johnson Health. And ladies, uh, tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, I'd love to tell you a little bit about uh, what we do. We're excited to be here. I'm Ruth Marler. I'm the Chief Operating Officer and Acting Chief Nurse at Johnston Health. I've been with the facility for six years and actually have been a lifelong resident of Johnston County. Was born at the hospital, Johnston Memorial, and um, I'm really excited to bring our new uh, tower here at Clayton up. Uh, we've seen a lot of those patients that we've served down at the Smithfield facility already and we're just really excited to be on this unit. This unit in particular is what we call our high acuity system. Uh, we've got four beds here and this room is actually one of the highest tech rooms that we have in the whole hospital and Casey Nunnery is our manager of this area. Actually Casey is um, a resident here and uh, Casey tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm Casey Nunnery. I've been with Johnston Health for 13 years. Um, I live in the Johnston County area. I live in the McGee's Crossroads area. Um, I, I love serving the, the patients that are going to be here at Clayton. I'm super excited about the staff that's coming on. They're from the Clayton area. A lot of them are from Clayton and the Cleveland area. Um, but getting back to this room, this is one of the booms. This is one of the, the high-tech features. Um, that we have here at Clayton. Um, we are able to do oxygen from this and the med vac, which, um, which is our suction, and the med air um, that we could do respiratory treatments from. We also have something that's really exciting to us. It's our artwork, and I want to show you one of those pieces right here. This is called the Red Canoe, and this was actually done by Betty Williams, who is from the Clayton area, actually. Um, Betty is 73 years old. And she just took a water, she took a class about four years ago with some watercolors and wow is that phenomenal. That's just like somebody that had a beautiful, beautiful talent and it has come to fruition and we're so excited that Betty's allowed us to have this piece for our Clayton facility. As a matter of fact, we have a project that's called 50 Rooms, 50 Artists and all of our rooms have local artists from many in the Clayton area but we have them from Meadows to Archers Lodge to Four Oaks. So we have them from all over the county. And you know, it's really their way of giving back to our patients. It's their way of saying, this is a greeting card to you. Uh, so now we're here with Dr. Eric Janice. Dr. Janice, thank you so much for joining Johnny, us on Spotlight pleasure. on Clayton. Thank you. Uh, you have been so instrumental with what's uh, taking place here at Johnston Health. Why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your input with how this process got started and talk us, to us a little bit about the, the heart health care and take the ball. Well, I'm happy to do so. I mean, this has, uh, this is the fruition of a dream which uh, we have had at Johnston Health and for the uh, citizens of uh, Johnston County and for Clayton in particular for many years. Uh, uh, we were part of this, uh, started to discuss uh, building a facility in Clayton uh, almost 10 years ago. Wow. And it has taken uh, many years of uh, thoughtful planning um, and dedication on the part of many people from Clayton, from Johnston County, and from Johnston Health to finally bring this to fruition. And, and I'm, I'm thrilled, and I know the uh, people of Clayton are thrilled, and all the citizens of Johnston County are thrilled to finally have uh, a wonderful brand new hospital opening here in Clayton. Yes, and, and the benefits that uh, are a part of that with, with being uh, partnered with UNC. Yes, it's actually been uh, the partnership with UNC um, and Johnson Health has actually had benefits that, w that we've seen immediately. So that we've actually been able to recruit more physicians, we've been able to recruit uh, a number of primary care doctors, we've been able to rec recruit uh, neurology, we've been able to recruit a number of additional cardiologists um, as part of our group, North Carolina Heart and Vascular, uh, who are thrilled and excited to be part of the growth of Johnston Health and part of the growth of uh, healthcare in Clayton uh, in particular. So what do you see as uh, what's possible in the future? Well, the, uh, there is no limit to what's possible, <laughs> Jody. And, and I think that uh, it's, it, what I learned from this is it, it takes time, it takes vision, um, mm -hmm. and it takes persistence to make something happen. And, and I'm proud of uh, the people at Johnson Health and UNC and, and, the, and the town of Clayton and the citizens of, of Johnston County who have made this possible. Um, I think that what, what this offers is 
bringing health care to people where they live. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to travel for health care. Nobody wants to drive through the terrible traffic of I-40 to go up to Raleigh for health care. True. But it's not just that. You want to bring the highest quality doctors to where people live. Our model has always been that you know people want the highest quality, they want safe health care, but they want it close to home where it's convenient for them. And what this facility, Johnson Health in Clayton, um, will provide is inpatient care, we provide surgical care, we provide uh, imaging, uh, a full emergency department, we have a number of physician practices right next door. So it actually brings top quality health care right to where people live. So they don't have to travel, don't have to be inconvenienced if they need to come after work, if they need to come before work, we've brought the healthcare to where people live. And I think that's one of the greatest um, aspects of all of this, you know, uh, as the mayor uh, and as a physician, you get the, the importance and the priority of quality of life for people. And being able to work uh, as a team on a project like that is super fantastic, I think, for everybody. Well, you know that the people of Clayton and the, and the leadership in Clayton have been behind this all the way. I've been very impressed by uh, the vision and the foresight that, that, that you and, and the planning people and the county commissioners have had in in bringing health care um, here to Johnston County and, and here to Clayton where there's so much growth going on and, and we can draw on the, the people in the Cleveland community and in the Clayton community and, and, and from McGee's and Benson who, who would be more than happy to come here and, and come visit us in her Clayton facility should they need health care rather than to drive to Raleigh. Mm -hmm. And UNC and, and the partnership with UNC Healthcare has actually been very helpful. They have been committed uh, to growing Johnston Health. It, it's, one of the, it's one of the reasons that we partnered with UNC Healthcare was they did not see this partnership as a way to move people up to Carolina or even up to Rex, um, but actually they were committed to growing healthcare here in Johnston County and committed to the success and growth of Johnston Health itself. And uh, bringing this a uh, new facility uh, right right in the heart of Clayton, um, I think is a big step forward. I think it's a huge step forward. And, um, you know, from an economic development perspective, what do you really think that, you know, physicians who are looking for a market to go and serve? Uh, it's been my feeling. I came here almost 20 years ago, um, and um, Johnston County was a place that people drove through on Correct. the way to the beach. Yes. Um, they would pick up a six pack at the little round jug and keep driving. Yes. Um, and uh, as you know, Clayton has changed dramatically. Um, I came here in uh, 1996 after Clayton was listed as one of the hottest little boom towns in the United States in Money Magazine. Yes. Um, I've lived here and been committed to uh, Clayton and healthcare and the, and the town of Clayton for some time. And as an economic engine, um, healthcare is is, is one of the greatest healthcare engines there is. So that we've had a number of doctors um, who've opened up and started practice. Mm -hmm. We've had a whole new development next door of a long-term care facility um, and additional doctor's offices and radiology facilities. Um, I know we continue to open up uh, pharmacies and other services that will support the growth of healthcare here in Johnston County. So as, a, as an economic development engine, um, it's, 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 a, it's a huge locomotive. Uh, and, and I think that while we're starting out small here, I think uh, the prediction is for this to continue to grow over the next five, 10, and 20 years. And I look forward to being part of that. Thank you. You know, it really takes amazing leadership to make something happen, and Dr. Eric Janis is one of the finest leaders in Johnston County, and I want to thank you again for joining us today, and, and for all you do, and, and for all that the people you're associated in your team do. Well, I appreciate that. It's not just me. I mean, getting something like this uh, from, from vision to, to, you know, the beautiful facility Tangible. that it is, uh, yes. to real results takes um, the, the effort of many, many people. and. Um, I, I'm, I'm proud to be part of the community where we recognize that vision and uh, it can make it happen. So I appreciate all the work that you and the people in Clayton and the county commissioners have done. Awesome. Thank you so much. No, thank you.
So Kyle, thank you so much for taking the opportunity to be with us today on Spotlight on Clayton. You have a fantastic facility here. Thank you, John. I appreciate you a coming by. A lot to be proud of. We so are very much. proud and are looking forward to serving the patients of Clayton.